Hi, welcome to Seymour's World Commentary. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. This is my favorite quote at the moment, and this was said by Eleanor Roosevelt. She was the first lady during the Second World War and America's worst depression. She said these words to help inspire a dispirited America and to free people from feelings of fear and hopelessness. The full quote is as follows. Believe in yourself. You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you stop to look fear in the face. You must do that which you think you cannot do. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. We all know the stories about Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. We saw how their dreams of technology changed the world. Some of us have already been a part of that change, both in our business and our personal lives. Maybe getting new jobs, new careers, helping to create a better world, finding love and affection in our partners, and I hope finding the time to help others. For me, I was like many of you. I dropped out of college to begin my business career, much to the chagrin of my parents and my friends. And today, I stand tall and proud of all my accomplishments. Was it tough? Yes. Was it scary? Yes. Did I make mistakes? Oh my God, too many to detail for this show. But was it worth it? Absolutely, unequivocally, without any doubt. Why and how? Very simple. I was instilled with the belief that I could believe in my dreams and myself. The more difficult path is not the more foolish path. It takes courage to pursue your dreams. It takes strength to follow your ideals. I have tremendous respect for those who have experienced the worst and then found the strength to battle through it. All of my friends in the business world and in the philanthropy world that I know have been through unimaginable struggles. It was the struggles that made them strong. At this point in my life, I have luckily gained a bit of recognition and support, and many amazing opportunities have recently come up. But I know I still have so much to learn and so much to do, so there are a few decisions currently in the works that will again take a great amount of courage to face. I might completely fail, and I might completely fall on my face. But the fear of failure or fear of hard work, they do exist. That's part of life. But I don't wish to choose my decisions based on fears. You've got to choose to work and to struggle. Don't follow your fears. I tell this to every client, to every foster youth, uh, foster youth I work with, to every young entrepreneur I mentor, because it represents the beginnings of a bright new future. I try to work with people all over the world who aspire to make meaningful change to affect the future. Personally, it's not all about the money. Although I'm not one to refuse a payment, you see that's part of my DNA, but truthfully, now my goal is to help make this world a better place. Now I am looking towards the future. This era has created a great deal of struggle for most of us. What kind of strength will this era create? Who will be the next one to change our world? What new skills, techniques, and ways of thinking will be used to design our future and the world's future? Every client I have, is involved in either saving lives, helping young people through mentoring, designing programs for healthier diets, and so on. Join me, and you will receive the satisfaction that money can't buy. Getting stronger means working hard. It means struggling. So, are your dreams beautiful enough to struggle for? Are you going to do whatever it takes to make your dreams a reality? Those are the questions you have to ask yourself. When you come to a conclusion or you want to ask me for my advice, just email, text, or call me, and I will be happy to help you make that decision. Thank you for watching Seymour's World, commentary on ThinkTech Hawaii. I would love to read any of your thoughts and comments. Aloha.